हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वेयर वी आर लर्निंग ब्लॉक टू टुडे इस टॉपिक इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक ऑफ अ कंसेंसस मैकेनिज्म व्हिच वी आर कॉलिंग इट एज अ बेंजामिन फॉल्ट टॉलरेंस वी हैव बीन लिसनिंग अबाउट दिस टॉपिक वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली व्हेन वी आर लर्निंग ब्लॉकचेन एंड आई थॉट ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग दिस टॉपिक इन डिटेल टू यू ऑल सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज एक्चुअली मेंट फॉर सो आई विल गिव यू एन प्रैक्टिकल एग्जांपल एज़ वेल एज़ द लिंकिंग विद द प्रैक्टिकल एग्जांपल अलोंग विद द ब्लॉकचेन हाउ इट इज अफेक्टिंग अस राइट सो लेट्स डिग डीप If we'll just try to understand Benjamin Fall tolerance in a single word, so tolerance and fault. So we are trying to understand, or we are trying to tolerate the faulty nodes within the blockchain in simple words, right? Why it is so? Because in the distributed network there are many faulty nodes or the offline nodes who can influence the decision of a block, right? Because we are taking a consensus from all the people in the distributed network. so these faulty and failure nodes can influence the information so this is the consensus mechanism to help support into the tolerance level of the faulty nodes in simple word where are the blockchains we are using we are using into the hyperledger fabric and zilipa so fabric is a very known project of a hyperledger project so let's see that how the fault tolerance will work in the back side so this is the working which is written in a words but i will i will give you a deep dive of how it is actually looking in up into a real time scenario let's see that there is a place where some king one one of the king is trying to acquire this particular place and he has sent across his all army to the multiple places multiple corners of this kingdom to see that if they need to attack or retreat right there is a commander there are three lieutenants who are into the four corners of the particular place now what is happening there could be a reason that among all these honest people there could be a one traitor let's see that who is the traitor let's see that lieutenant 3 is a traitor in this area so what's happening in the benjamin fall tolerance scenario there is a commander who will send a command an instruction to the other people through an action right or maybe through something like th there is a need to send across the messages so while sending a messages other people will also once they receive the messages they will confirm back to the people saying that what what is the action which they have received and what they are going to do so let's see that how it is working this commander has sent across a message to the all other leaders among uh, who are who are near to this place that we need to attack right the simple message is attack now when lieutenant 1 has also received an attack message he is also good to attack back so he has replied back to the commander to the other people that he is also ready to attack the message which he has received at attack and he is also ready to attack other person has also received attack from two places from c and a commander and lieutenant one and he is also saying i have received attack and i am also attacking right so consensus is going through while lieutenant 3 is a traitor he has received a message of attack from all the people he is saying retreat correct so the people who are among the system will understand that there is not a this person is not giving you the right information correct so what is happening here how you understand that commander has received two attack one from lieutenant 1 one from lieutenant 2 so he has received two attack and one retreat from lieutenant 3 lieutenant 1 has also received two attack one from commander one from lieutenant 2 and one from lieutenant 3 as in retreat same for lieutenant 2 he has received two attack from lieutenant 1 and commander and one retreat from lieutenant 3 the lieutenant 3 being a traitor he has received all three attack from all three parties but he has not received anything as retreat correct so the information is clear stating that the majority of the people are saying that attack so they will attack into this right now let's see that we understood that they are attacking so benjamin fall tolerance is the tolerance level is of 33% if 33% nodes are malicious also we will get a right consensus let's see that this is the real time scenario how it is happening into the real world as in benjamin fall tolerance but if you will see try to see that how it is affecting in the blockchain we need to dig deep just think in this way so we have a distributed network where this this distributed network where all the networks are connected as a nodes into this network now if you will see the tolerance level is 
it means that out of six nodes if two nodes are malicious also we are going to get a right consensus mechanism correct so how this is happening if you will see this if all the networks are sending right information to other nodes to connect or not if they are accepting this particular block transactions or not but if two offline connectors or two malicious activities are sending a wrong information also so still the majority of the stakes are going towards the honesty of the network transaction right so the beauty of this particular benjamin fault tolerance is to identify the malicious activities and move towards the right acceptance of the particular transaction but the tolerance level is only 33% if we are going to get more than 33% of the malicious activities then this particular fault tolerance consensus mechanism will not work because it will influence the decision of doing the right transactions acceptance of the right transactions or not because if out of 6 if four transactions are saying as a false information then the default the commander will go into the wrong direction which will affect the overall information i hope you understand this particular benjamin fault tolerance if there is any issues please let us know i will try to come up with another video so that you will have more dig deep into another topic of blockchain thank you so much for listening